You've probably seen how easy it is to deploy and verify simple contracts using Tenderly Hardhead plugin. But one of the questions that pops up is how do I deploy and verify proxy contracts? So let's take a look at what it takes to deploy and verify a proxy. We'll use an example that will have a vault contract and that vault contract will depend on an ERC20 token. Now, what we want to do is to put the vault behind the proxy. So usually, uh, if you're using Open Zeppelin's libraries, uh, you can specify that this is something that you want to put behind a proxy, and you can choose a type of proxy that you want to use. So the problem for us is to actually, all right, have this, uh, have this, token verified so you can actually debug those transactions also to have the implementation the first implementation of that proxy verified so that would be the vault and the tricky part is to get the proxy instance itself verified as well so we need all three of these so we have to do three verifications when we deploy the proxy for the first time the proxy itself the implementation and all the dependent token, uh, all the dependent contracts, in this case, the token. Now, the second step is what happens when you upgrade the proxy. So in this case, when you upgrade the proxy, essentially what happens is that proxy starts pointing to the new implementation. And what we need to do in that case is just do another verification to verify this new contract that is deployed. So let's jump into code. I have the token here and I also have the vault. So what I want to do is actually deploy the contract to Tenderly DevNet and also verify it on the Tenderly DevNet. So I'll just copy the RPC link here and paste it in the network config of the Tenderly network. So here we are, we have that set here and the rest of the setup is should be pretty familiar by now. What is super important for verification of proxies is that we have to use manual verification. So automatic verifications won't cut it here. All right, and I would like to show an example of the uh, UUPS proxy, and I will show it actually in a test. So let's write a test for that. Let's describe the UUPS proxy, and we want to have it deployed, upgraded, and verified in every single step. So what we need to do here is to uh, take all the contracts that we need, and I'm using ethers here. So I'm taking the vault and I'm taking the T token. And first of all, we want to deploy the token, the dependency that we just saw. So this one over here. Now, the next step would be to verify the token. So I'm gonna jump in right here and say token verify. Now it's crucial to have to await for the token to be deployed and confirmed on the network before we call Tenderly's verify. And again, we're just passing the contract's name and the contract's address to the verification call. All right, so that was the, the easy part, the familiar part. Now the next bit would be to actually deploy the proxy. So here, Let's use the Open Zeppelin's upgrades plugin for Hardhead. And we're deploying the proxy. And let me just zoom out a bit. So we're just deploying the proxy. We're giving it the factory of the contract we want to put behind the proxy. So this is Vault 1. And we're giving it the, um, the initializer. So in our case, that's the address of this T token and we want to do it as a UUPS proxy. So this line over here will deploy both the first implementation and the proxy itself, these two guys over there. Now, the next bit that we need to do is, of course, wait for the proxy to be confirmed and deployed. And the last part would be to actually have both the implementation and the proxy verified. And for this, again, we're using the Tenderly Hard Hit plugin, the verify function. And this time we're adding multiple contracts. The first one is obvious, that's the implementation of 
uh, the vault. And to get the address, we actually have to look it up through the proxy contract. So we are actually asking um, this contract over here, okay, what is the implementation? What's the current implementation? So we're doing that using get implementation address coming from Open Zeppelin's upgrades core package. And the second bit is actually tricky. That's verifying the proxy contract itself. Now, when using UUPS proxy, we're dealing with ERC 1967 proxy contract. And of course, we just have to paste the address. All right, so that's when it comes to deploying. And I'll just, since we are in a test, I'll just add one little expect uh, to verify that we're working with V1. So this is upgrade should come here. So before we go on, just to underline it, we, we're verifying the implementation, but we also have to verify the proxy. And depending on the type of the proxy you're using, uh, here you might need a to reference a different contract. Let's keep going and go to the upgrade part. So now we want to deploy and verify the Vault V2 and actually upgrade the proxy to use uh, a Vault V2. So to do that, I'll just grab the factory of the second version of the Vault. And after that, using the upgrades library, so here we go. We're using the upgrades library, instructing it to upgrade the proxy and of course, giving the proxy itself and also the factory of the second contract. And the last bit is to await for the proxy to get deployed. And now it's trivial to actually verify the new implementation. So we're awaiting for the proxy to be deployed and calling verify saying, hey, verify the contract V2, Vault V2. And it's located on this address and we get the address by asking the proxy instance of its whereabouts. Now, there is an additional step, and this is a caveat, and it's regarding this reference of this contract over here. So to, for Tenderly plugin to be able to verify the proxy, we need to uh, import this contract and compile it when actually running the script. So, to do that, we created a dummy proxy file. And in our case, when doing the UUPS proxy, we just have to import uh, this smart contract. But also if you're working with beacon proxies or transparent upgradable proxies, you will have to import those as well. Now that we've done that, it's possible to actually reference that contract uh, through the Tenderly Hardhead plugin. There is a step, second step to it, and that is actually hinting what is the exact compiler version and the exact number of optimizations used uh, by Open Zeppelin uh, in the process of deploying the proxy contract. So what we need to do here is extend the Solidity compiler config by adding overrides. And let me just paste that in so we can take a look. So here we have it, we got overrides. And what it is, it's just a map uh, taking the smart the path to the smart contract. In our case, this is the one that we care about uh, for the UUPS proxy. And we have to override, actually specify the exact version of Solidity compiler used by Open Zeppelin when deploying the proxy. And also we need to specify the exact settings that Open Zeppelin gave for that contract. So now that we have all that, I'll just run MPX hardhat test. And yeah, uh, we need to run it on Network Tenderly. So it ends up on the DevNet. And I want to just run this test. So I'll hit enter. We'll wait a bit. We can see transactions coming in. There is a contract creation. This is our token. The contract got verified, and now we have an error. Provider error not found. Okay. So when something like this happens, it might be the case that you have your .openzeppelin folder still uh, in there. And if you're 
deploying and redeploying proxies, uh, especially on a fresh DevNet, it will get confused because it can't find the previous deployment. So what we need to do here is remove the Open Zeppelin folder and give it another go and hopefully it works. The token is verified. Yep. And there we go, we have the proxy and the implementation in there. Both of them got verified. So I'll just, while the script finishes loading, reload this page, go to contracts, and here we can see that we have our T token twice. This is the actual one. The vault, the proxy is verified, and now when I refresh, we should see the vault V2. Yeah, here it is. Going back to transactions, we can see that uh, there are several method invocations. So if I jump into this one, we can actually see that this is the transaction that made the upgrade that actually changed the reference in the proxy contract to point to the new implementation. There you go. You saw how you can verify uh, a UUPS proxy using Tenderly DevNets and Tenderly Hardhead plugin. And in the GitHub repository in the description, you can find more examples on how to deploy and verify a beacon proxy and transparent proxy. And hopefully we'll get some more examples along the way. See you in the next one.